today we are in Wardenburg op der Tauber. It's a very well-known touristy city here in Bavaria, in the region of Ansbach. And uh, we're gonna get some ice cream, but I thought it'd be another good place to show in this uh, world building series, especially for those of you <laughs> who don't live in Europe and don't have a, a medieval city for reference at, at, at hand as easily as I do. So uh, just sit back and enjoy this little tour and I hope you enjoy it. before everything in Germany really started opening back up because usually this time of year this place is so full of people you can't walk through it There's still a lot of people but yeah, I mean it's doable and we have our masks with us when we get closer to if we have to go inside I need to go to a pharmacy anyway but other than that just walking outside is still considered okay <laughs> story about uh, Wardenburg is during the Thirty Years War back in uh, more specifically 1631 there was a count from the Spanish Netherlands known as Johan Cercles, 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 whatever of Tilly he came and laid siege to the city of Wardenburg of the tower and said whoever can drink three and a quarter liters of wine which is like almost a gallon in one go the city will be spared so of course the wonderful mayor of Wardenburg Georg Nusch took on the challenge and won, and the city was saved. I thought that's an awesome story. <laughs> Of trade routes had been changed to the point where it actually isolated the city of Wodenburg of the Tauber for about 300 years, or at least well over 200 years, until 1877, when a very famous German artist just happened upon here, fell in love with it, and painted it. And a lot of people fell in love with the views and they started coming here to see it for themselves, and then it became the tourist trap you see here today. It's pretty awesome. <laughs>
I come to Rodenburg of the Tauber often enough, so there will be more videos. Um, if you enjoyed this, please give it a thumbs up because it lets me and YouTube know you like content like this and you want to see more. And definitely don't forget to connect with me on social media, whether it's through Twitter, Instagram, or Facebook, especially Instagram because I have a lot more goodies on there, especially the pug-related ones. <laughs> anyway, uh, that's it for today, and I hope you had fun, and until next time, Lieblings.